Okay, today's video is going to be, as you can tell by the title, Drugstore Haul. I've kind of accumulated quite a few things. Some things are repurchases, some things are brand new that just came out, and some things I just wanted to try. Um, so if you tried any, any of these things, leave a comment below and let me know how you like them. Let's just jump right in. So, I went to Wally World and CVS. As you can see, we have quite a bit of things to go through. So I'm going to start with Walmart. And Walmart's obviously not really a drugstore, but everyone has it. It's affordable prices, and they're the same brands that you can find in a drugstore. So whatever. So these are in no particular order. I'm just going to grab and go. First thing I wanted to pick up was the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. And I heard this is comparison to the Laura Mercier translucent powder so I just wanted to try it out and see if I liked it before I there's no way I'm gonna spend the kind of money that they're asking for on clear powder I'm sure it's amazing um, but you know your girl's on a budget so I'll let you guys know how I like it next I have a baked blush from NYX and this is in the color Wanderlust how cute is that? It's this really, really pretty, like, pink, corally shade. And I thought it would be really pretty for summer, or spring and summer. Actually, it's what I'm wearing today. I had to pop it open and try it out. I love baked blushes. They just go on the skin really nice, and they look really natural and pretty on the skin. Look how cute this packaging is. Some of the sides are just basic clear. And then the front, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a little bow on it. Soup's cute. Next, this is a repurchase. I love the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. I've tried tons. Urban Decay has a really good one. Um, of course, I have the MAC uh, Finishing Spray that everyone has. However, save your money and go get this because it's a fraction of the price and it works just as good. And actually, I like the way, it's weird to say, but I like the way that it sprays better. Long Lasting Setting Spray from NYX. Moving on to a pressed powder that I picked up. It's by Rimmel, and it's the Stay Matte Setting Powder. And literally, it's just a powder. Then Wet n Wild had this. This was just thrown in by the hard candy section, and I saw this and kind of just threw it in the bag. It's the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. It just has the banana shade on one side and the contour shade on the other. It's in the color Caramel Toffee. It says it's a new formula, so we'll see how I like this. Then I stopped by the e.l.f. section, of course, and I got this really pretty lip color, and it's in the color Tea Rose, and they look like this. I hadn't seen this before, so I don't know if this stuff is new, but I'm really liking... Well, I like this one. I tried it on already. You have to, right? Actually, I wore it. I wore it on my birthday, but... It's a really pretty, like, mauve taupe color, kind of, but it comes off kind of purpley, so you can see the color. See it against the gray. It's really pretty. I'll swatch it for you. And there it is on the back of my hand. And this, this is the Kylie Lip Kit um, 22 color. I swatched it on my hand last night. I've been scrubbing it with soap, and it will not come off, so that shit stays. But anyway, so that's that. But here is Tea Rose. It kind of goes on less pigmented on the lips, but I kind of like that it's just a touch of color. Um, but it's super creamy and moisturizing, so bravo to e.l.f. Next, I stopped in the hard candy section, and I haven't bought hard candy if ever, probably was a little kid. Like, honestly forever ago but I picked up um, a few things and the first being a liquid eyeliner I don't know why this caught my eye it just looked really pretty it's called white night a white liquid eyeliner with like silver and iridescent sparkles in it so I thought that would be fun I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but clearly I like sparkly so it caught my eye. As we're getting into spring, I'm really like, my eyes are just gravitating towards spring colors, like peaches and stuff. So I saw this and it's the All Glossed Up Hydrating Lip Stain. And I just really liked the color. That's what caught my eye. It's like super peach. 
Let's rip it out of the package, shall we? Here we go. Whoa. What is this? A lip stain? Hydrating lip stain. That's hydrating for sure. It literally... Let's swatch it again up close. Look how... I don't know if you could tell how, like, literally hydrating it is. That is really hydrating, and it's a really pretty color. I like. Right next to that was sitting a Daring Lip Gloss. And it's also a peach color, so... Oh, it's like a paint. Look at the applicator. It's like... The applicator is kind of like a paintbrush. So, oh, whoa, this is kind of... This is pink. This looked... Ew, I don't know if I'm going to like this, but whatever. I'll wear it over something. Where'd it go? It's right here. And then the last thing I picked up from Hard Candy, which I was really excited about, and I've actually used this and loved it. I don't know if you saw my birthday vlog, but when I did my makeup in that video, um, I used this. I don't know if I showed it because I don't remember doing it on camera, but I will definitely be using this, um, I'm sure, in some tutorials. So it's the... It doesn't even have a front. What? Well, it's the Hard Candy Illuminate and Strobing Mix-In Drops. It literally looks like this, and it comes in this tube, and it has like a little thing you push down on. Anyways, they're like illuminating drops. So basically, you can mix this. You can either mix this in with a foundation, and it's going to give you like a really pretty, like, pearly glow and I think it's actually called yeah it's called white pearl um so you can mix this if I'm on a foundation you can what I did is I took little drops and I just tapped it along where I normally put my um highlight and let it dry of course and then I breezed my highlight on top of it and girl I was strobing like this love this already Sephora has some but it, but it's like twice the price so moving on to CVS Got a card, gift wrap, nothing fun. Let's get into the fun stuff. Okay, so this first one is a repurchase and it's not in its case because I used it today. So it is a little bit dirty, but this is a repurchase, but it's the e.l.f. Um, small stippling brush. And this is what it looks like. This is what I use when I blot out my under eye concealer um, and, you know, put fill in my concealer. This is what I'm using. It's just a small stippling brush. I love these and they're so cheap. They're from e.l.f. so you can't go wrong. This next thing I picked up is from Wet n Wild and it's the color correcting palette. I wanted to get a color corrector just to keep in my kit. I don't know if many of you are familiar with the color correcting wheel but um if you're interested i can let you know how it works you can youtube it if you'd like just so like the green one for instance if you have like redness on your face or like blemishes you're gonna put this green color on top of it and it's gonna cancel out the color so it's gonna correct it all right i've heard nothing but great things about this um for being drugstore and i used it today Seems to be doing just fine. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder. So this is a setting powder. And I'm in the color, or I picked up the color, 120 Classic Ivory. Kind of, kind of my color. Apparently it comes with a little applicator. I don't use this. But yay! These I was so excited to try. So these are, I got two colors because I wasn't sure what I was going to be. These are by Milani and I love Milani products. I think they have a really good line for being drugstore and it's pretty affordable. These are a two-in-one concealer and foundation and it's called Concealed Plus Perfect. I picked up the shade 02 Natural and 04 Medium Beige. If I'm a little bit darker, I can mix the two together to probably get my perfect color. But today, I'm actually wearing it because I wanted to test it out before I did this video. And I used the color 02 and it was perfect to match my skin tone. So far, loving it. These are going to be perfect, perfect for summertime. I'm, I'm saying it right now. This is going to be my go-to summer foundation because it's medium to full coverage. It's super lightweight. Honestly, I don't even feel like it's on my skin. 
and it's an oil-free formula so this is going to be good for combination skin which i have so that's awesome and it's long wearing water resistant and sweat proof hello another thing that i like is when you take off the cap it's a pump applicator which i love i don't like having to like the pump is really convenient and so far I give it an A+. Plus. And then last but not least, um, I have more stuff from Milani. Um, one is a repurchase and one is a brand new buy because I've heard nothing but good things. Um, they are both the Milani Baked Blushes. I love their baked blushes. The first one is a new purchase. This is in Rose Oro. Really pretty rosy shade with like specks and touches of golds so that's gonna be pretty in spring and then this is a repurchase i'm sure if you watch youtube you've heard about this shade already but honestly it's because it's the best and i've already went through one of these and how hard is it to go through a blush like you have to wear a lot of blush and i don't wear that much blush so this is literally the perfect color it's like a peach with like hints of gold i guess too really pretty and it looks really natural on the skin i love love this shade let me know if you'd like to see a drugstore favorites because i think that's one of the ones next on my list alongside of the highly requested how i highlight and contour my face slash what's the difference between contouring and bronzing so those are the ones that i probably have coming up in the future so be looking out for those. Also, I just wanted to throw this in really quick because this isn't drugstore. It's actually from Petco. But if you've watched my other videos, you know Benny. And if you don't know, you should. So this is Benny. He just woke up from a nap. So he's a little grumpy. Benny, say hi. <gasps> say hi. Hi, guys. Look how big I'm growing. Everyone thinks I'm German Shepherd. Oh, I'm tired. Everyone thinks I'm German Shepherd mixed with Great Dane. So that's great. I'm going to let him go finish his nap. But what I wanted to show you guys really quickly, just because I thought they were so cute. How cute are these? I got one for Benny, of course, the red. And I picked up one for Bert, my sister's dog. But honestly, how cute are those? Thank you again for tuning in to my drugstore haul. If you like these or if you want to see more of these, then duh, give it a like and let me know so I have an excuse to go out and buy more makeup. Don't tell Tyler. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you're entered into my monthly giveaway. I guess that's it. Thanks for visiting and I will see you next time.